So I'm in the process of repacking the bearings and the rear axles of my M35A3. And I just want to take a moment to show how air gets from the truck to the tires. So all the M44A3 trucks uh, come with a tire inflation system. Now being the nature of the M44A3 being made out of recycled M44A2 trucks, uh, I think it took two M, three M44A2s to make one M, to make two M44A3s. Um, you know, they used all those recycled parts to, you know, reduce the costs of deploying these trucks while it was expected that the LMTV deployment was going to be slowed down you know, more than anticipated. So, but overall, the program... These trucks cost about two-thirds of that, the LMTV, if I remember correctly. But anyways, so it was because of the good recycled driveline sheet metal parts that those cost savings were achieved, along with some other modifications, one of those being the tire inflation system. So to put a tire inflation system on an, on an old A2 axle, AM General designed this special air sleeve, which I mean, I'm still kind of cleaning up still, um, to go on the existing spindle and it looks like it is actually glued on this looks like adhesive here uh, yeah you see it goes over to the where the air comes in uh, so this thing is actually glued onto the axle I heard that if you apply some heat you burn off the epoxy and it just slides off uh, but I'm gonna leave it as is for now uh, so that said this is truck air this comes right from the truck into this sleeve and air comes out of this uh, sleeve here out to the spindle now it just doesn't just spread air all over the spindle it actually goes right into the hub so over here I have the hub where I can show you where it comes in so let's see I just need to adjust my focus here so there's the inner bearing and you might be able to see that it is actually slotted on the inner bearing race the inside race and the inner bearing so you can see so what happens is the inner bearing has a seal on the other side overing that butts up against that air sleeve i was just showing you and air comes out of the air sleeve through these slots in the inner bearings in a race and into the hub and from this hollow spot and the hollow space in the hub, it goes out through this hole. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. You can kind of see it right there. Tip my finger. There's the hole. Comes out of that hole that was drilled into the hub. Because the A2 hubs didn't have that. It's a modification I'm general made. Out to this hose, which goes all the way around to this other elbow and into a hollow stud and from that hollow stud another airline comes off and runs to the to a special switching wheel valve air valve on the wheel uh, to which that is piped into the tire inflation stem so depending on the air signals I think it's like it works on pressure or something like that depending on the signals that the truck that the truck's tire inflation system sends to the air valve on the wheels you know, air is either coming in or going out of this hub and through the sleeve here on the axle so that's how it works on this truck it actually takes quite a few seals to keep air in the hub so for example, so the air is not coming out of this hub here. There's actually an inner seal, it's part of what's called the quad seal, uh, right here inside this seal retainer. Um, on the outer bearing, there's actually an additional O-ring that butts up against this part of the spindle right here. I think it's actually in the ground. That's one of the O-rings right there. And there's another O-ring that sits on the uh, in a groove in the inner bearing that butts up against 
the sleeve here. So all that's supposed to help. So there's four seals total because the inner bearing also has another one of those inner retaining seals, which you can't actually see in this picture because the inner bearing's in the way. Uh, so there's a seal between the bearing and the bearing cup here, which is held in by the separate seal retainer on both ends of the hub. And on each of the bearings, there is an O-ring, which we saw laying on the ground over there, butting up against parts of the spindle to keep air from leaking there. I think on modern trucks designed from the start with tire inflation systems, uh, they, they don't have this sleeve configuration. I believe that there is somehow air delivered right into the spindle right into the hub and instead of having four seals I think there might be just two seals instead like you don't have the o-rings maybe you do not sure I it's I was looking through a manual it looked like a simpler setup but uh, this is how they did it but I think you'll talking if you talk to a few uh, folks who've worked on these inflation systems and especially in the army trucks they will probably say that they are maintenance intensive because you have so many seals you have to replace and uh, you, know, you got to maintain the wheel valves and everything. Um, you know, it, there's a lot that goes into making sure the system doesn't leak air and deflate your tires or overinflate them. I think you're more likely to deflate than overinflate. Uh, but, but anyway, this is at least how the system works on the M35A3. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.